The McDowell Colony in New Hampshire was established in 1907 to provide a retreat for artists where they can create without distraction. In its time, the colony has played host to thousands of American artists, including Thornton Wilder, Alice Walker, Aaron Copeland, and more. One of the more recent recipients of a McDowell residency has a more local flavor, HCC music professor, Dr. Stephen Yip. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good place for, for artists to, to stay there. It's a, like, a, like, a, like a retreat for, for artists. So uh, I met um, different uh, artists such as uh, writers, uh, poet, um, visual artists, and uh, architect, and some others. Actually, they provide very decent uh, environment for, for us to, to, to stay there and live there and work on our own project. And then uh, basically, we just stay in our own studio. Uh, I, I was lucky because uh, my studio was a living studio. So I just stay there in the morning. Um, uh, lunch, they delivered lunch to me. And then I, I live there, I stay there. So they, 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 get a, they provide me like a very good um, uh, facilities, like a grand piano, a very uh, good uh, working space. It's better than my, 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 my working space here at home, yeah. My studio, um, you know, um, uh, Bernstein was using there. Yeah? <laughs> he was in there because <laughs> when I walk in and then I saw there are different, um, uh, they call the stone grave and then they, the artists will wrote down their names before they left and then I, I saw uh, Bernstein was there, yeah. So it's a very old studio. Well, actually, I couldn't start to compose until the second day. The first day, uh, maybe I went there, it was the night time, and then I couldn't start. And then I would just uh, unpack my stuff, and then uh, I was just sitting there and meditate, and then just waiting and waiting. So, until I attended uh, other artists' presentation. Actually, it was very interesting. I was there. Uh, in the in the living room. At the beginning, I was attending. I mean, I was uh, paying attention. And then after about second half, I didn't pay attention. I was thinking about my work because I got some inspiration. As usual, just the first few days, I was working slow. And then after the fourth day, the fifth day, just speed up a lot and then working faster and faster. And I, even I got the pattern. The pattern is uh, I work at the night time. Yeah, in the daytime. I was so enjoyable to see the snow <laughs> and then to enjoy the cold weather that we never had it in Houston. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a zero degree, <laughs> like a, or, or five degrees, seven degrees. It was very cold and then um, and it was nice. And then I was paying the fire place. <laughs> I put the, <laughs> the, the, putting on the fire, fire. Yeah, and then um. After the presentation, after the dinner, and then I start working, yeah. And then in the morning, I just sleep. <laughs> so I miss all the breakfast there. <laughs> I think um, for me, uh, listening, so and understanding is almost like the same. Yeah, you know when you're studying music, and then sometimes, well, because I'm teaching, I'm teaching theory, and if you don't listen to the music, just uh, do it by by logic or by mathematical way. Sometimes by calculation, if you, you don't know music at all, you can do it. But uh, besides this, I really want them to listen to understand the content of the music and also uh, attend some concert, just like uh, tonight uh, there's an opera and it's showing that I've just introduced them to, to go to uh, the concert hall to attend the concert. So just like um, not just study and working on the paper, books, study books, that's it. So they, they need to just participate to experience how does the music work and then also to observe or to appreciate uh, perform, performance, like professionals, professional um, uh, players, how do they perform music? Just like in the all different areas to, to appreciate and study. Yeah. For HCC Beat, okay, this is Randall Williams. Okay.